he can't escape. So we're now moving through the campaign inspector and what we need to do is stop using fossil fuels and especially new sorts of fossil fuel. We need to be cutting down and 12,000 people have been arrested in, a, in the US this year trying to stop that. Over to Steve. Yeah, no, I'm just going to run through a list of stuff that's been happening on Tar Sands, so UK Tar Sands Network and Rising Tide have been up to. Um, yeah, for people that don't know what Tar Sands are, basically it's bitumen in sand. And it can be down to 40, 50 metres underground. Um, so there's a massive mega project in Canada and if we don't stop these mega projects all the other little bits and pieces that we do will add up to nothing. The area in Canada is bigger than the UK and at the moment they're only extracting tar sands from a small part of it. But tar sands oil is 3 to 5 percent more emissions come from it than conventional oil but it's now economically viable for your companies to go for it. But in 2009, Canada's emissions as a result of extracting tar sands went up by 34% when we're all supposed to be cutting ours. And BP themselves admit that if we dug up, refined and burnt all the tar sands just in Canada, and there are in other places around the world, then that would equate to a 6 degree centigrade global temperature rise. And they don't seem to think that's a problem. Um, so some of the things we've been doing, there's been an international tar sands day where there are actions around the world. Um, we concentrated on the BP AGM um, where we united lots of different groups including the Indigenous Environmental Network of North America, Columbia Solidarity, people from West Papua and mainly the people from the US that are affected by the Deepwater Horizon rig spillage. So connecting all the different communities at, at the BP AGM. And we've been targeting BP sponsorship. And one of the things we did was the opera screenings in Trafalgar Square. We did a, a black swan lake, uh, a ballerina that was uh, covered in molasses, for a piece of rice. Um, so other oil companies are involved. Total are currently um, undertaking exploration in Madagascar. Uh, at the moment, there's a one-year monitorium on them developing those tar sands, but that's just while they do more exploration. Um, another thing that's happening is the European Union's Fuel Quality Directive, where the European Union is trying to set certain values on certain types of oils according to their emissions. Tar sands being high emissions would have a higher value, which would mean it's expensive, which would mean if it went through, it could be effectively be a ban on tar sands oil in the UK and in Europe. Um, the government have changed their position at least seven times on whether they'll support um, tar sands being given a higher value. They've been heavily lobbied by the Canadian government. We've disrupted their talks and oil companies have been lobbying, and in particular Shell. Uh, and we know that Hume has had secret meetings with Shell. And of course we mustn't forget that Vince Cable used to be Shell's chief economist once. So we're expecting a decision on that soon, but hopefully it will go through and that will effectively ban it in the EU. Um, in the US there's been low stuff going on. The Keystone XL pipeline, which is a brand new mega pipeline from the Athabasca River into the US uh, to develop tar sands even more. There's been huge united opposition in the US and Canada and several mass demonstrations that have been in their thousands, the last one of which, as Phil said, 1,200 people were arrested at a White House and we did our own solidarity action with a dummy White House in Grove Square. So there are actions around the world. Um, the decision on that pipeline has been delayed for a year until after the US election. Um, BP are not particularly affected by that decision, but for Shell, it's catastrophic. Shell are looking to double their production of the tar sands in the next year. And with regard to that, we've been helping the Athabasca Chippewa First Nation, and we delivered a writ on Shell this week uh, in London and the UK to try and protect their land and treaty rights. Yay! So all that 
means it's time to take action now. We've got to st still keep our eye on the big major project, mega projects, as well as doing the, all the other things. So get involved, Rising Tide, UK Tar Sands Network, et al.